Hey everybody, I'm Delicia and thanks for stopping by for another exciting unveiling or unboxing rather from my latest shipment of Pravada Cigar Club. So last shipment that I shared was including their new launch of their Farm Rolled project, which I absolutely love. In fact, I had a couple extras that I ordered and I'm smoking one of them now. But this month, I'm excited to share what's in my most current box. So here we go. So I have added the Farm Rolled to my subscription, as you can easily do. Um, Oh, this is cool going private soon someone thinks you're one of us going private soon if you don't know now you know provider members get the best cigars on the planet period join now while you still can Ugh. join now while you still can i can't even speak today this is cool so again if for some reason you're watching this and you are not yet part of the cool Pravada Cigar Club, um, I wouldn't wait because apparently, and we've been hearing about this for a little bit, they're gonna go private. They're gonna close it out um, and you will not be able to join. I don't know when that's happening, but I would assume it's happening sometime soon, so I wouldn't hesitate. And for a recap, in case again, you're one of those people that's not yet a member, you can join very easily on PravadaCigarClub.com. You jump on there, it's $25.99 a month and you get three amazing cigars or either combination of rare, exclusive, limited. Sometimes they're new, but they're a really special type of new cigar, not just your regular new release. These are, again, for the most part, extremely aged, um, just very special cigars that you couldn't walk into your local brick and mortar and just run into the humidor and grab them. These are very special cigars. They're delivered right to your doorstep, which is my favorite part. Um, it's like your birthday every month. So you get your nice subscription. You join this cool club. You get to talk to other like-minded people. Um, just a really fun idea. So I absolutely, as you already know, I'm sure by now, I'm a huge fan of Pravada Cigar Club. Not only do you get the cool shipment, but you get this amazing write-up of all the cigars that are in your bag so that you not only know what they are, but you have some background as to one, you know, why were they selected? Um, what's the overall story? And, you know, what should you pair it with? What's it gonna taste like? All that and, and a lot of time and passion and dedication goes into writing these. So again, I've said this many times, but I'm a huge fan of that. To me, that, actually, that adds that extra personalization. It shows the heart of somebody who's um, not doing this just for the sake of you know making a business, but they're actually doing it because it's a passion and they're sharing it. And um, I just think it's a great idea. So I'm actually gonna go over my farm rolled first, and then I'm gonna get into my regular um, subscription. So again, with the $25.99, you can add your farm rolled subscription for an extra 20 bucks. It's worth every penny. These are amazing cigars that are coming right, right from the factory, you know, straight to you basically. And I love the coloring, very appropriate with the green, you know, tobacco leaf. Um, very cute, but again, it's a nice way. They're unbanded, so you're kind of cutting out, in essence, the middleman. You're going straight from, you know, the factory right to Pravada, and then again, right to your doorstep, which is cool. And these are all cigars that um, we would probably be smoking anyways. You might not know which ones they are, but it's really cool. So let me go into, let me look inside here. It's hard to multitask, you know, hold a cigar, smoke it, open a new pack, read, talk to the camera. It's fun. I'm trying to open this without ashing all over. Let's see. So again, your farm rolled da -da -da, comes with four cigars. And of course, always you get your nice little Boveda pack. They're properly humidified, stored, ready to smoke. So these aren't cigars that you have to, you know, put into your humidor and let them sit for a month before you can touch them. These are ready to go. And again, I've said it till I'm blue in the face. If you ever get anything in the mail, cigar related, that does not have some sort of humidification pack, um, send it back and get your money back because it's obviously they don't care. So. <laughs> That's not the case here. I love Boveda. I'm a huge fan. I use them in my humidor. I use them when I ship out cigars occasionally to like my winners. Um, 
I, I love them. So here we go. So Pravada Farm Rolled Farm Factory Home. Four ultra premium cigars direct from the factory to your doorstep by Brian. We certify the products you receive in the Pravada Farm Rolled program are the finest hand rolled cigars and the finest factories and farms from the finest factories and farms. Quality is triple A and will not be compromised, guaranteed. So we have um, kind of just going over these really quick since they're not named, um, you know, they're not banded rather. Um, but again, I've, I have smoked through a couple now because I've had a few different farm world packs um, that I, one I received as a gift, so thank you. And another, um, the other two I ordered, and so it's just been a lot of fun. I'm still going through because I'm kind of taking my time with them. But again, just a great deal. It's basically five bucks a stick. You cannot top that. And they're really high quality cigars. They're not your, you know, bundles, remnants type of sticks, which I don't know where else you could find $5 premium cigars that are this good. So we have an undisclosed Nicaraguan 5 by 52 Habano tasting notes. These are short, sweet to the point. Leather, black pepper, cocoa, vanilla berry. It tells you they're recommended for the afternoon. We have a La Zona factory Nicaraguan 4 by 52 Connecticut Broadleaf. Yum. Uh, tasting notes of wood cream, cinnamon, coffee, black pepper, uh, recommended for evening, afternoon. Dia de Mas Cigars de Honduras. You have the 5 by 50 Corojo. Uh, tasting notes of leather, earth, nuts, wood, and bread, recommended for evening, afternoon. And then the Tabsa Nicaragua 6x50 Habano Maduro, leather, black pepper, chocolate, herbs, recommended for evening, uh, afternoon. So the farm spotlight is going out to the Iroa Alandino Farms in Honduras. Nearly 250 acres of tobacco, the original Corojo Cuban seed is alive and well in Honduras. It's located in the Jamastran Valley and owned by father and son. Julio and Christian Iroa. I did mention this and I did read through because this was the uh, farm rolled pack that I had received last time and it was, you know, through these, through uh, Christian Iroa or, and, and his father. So the Iroa Alandino Farms and um, they have a, just a very extensive history and I love it. And it shows through in their quality of cigars. So very excited to add those to my humidor. Now, let's get into this lovely baby here. I never know what's in here. I never know. It's a surprise. I love it. Let's see. There we go. So I have my three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ha. I see one, two that I recognize. And then, of course, my little Bobita. Okay, so let's start here. I seem to always start on the wrong side. And there goes my ash on my white pants. That's okay. <laughs> okay. So we have this beautiful, beautiful band. So Dapper Cigars Company, Cubo Sumatra, aged for two years. So here we go. Let's go, let's go to Fresno, Central California, one of the agricultural hubs of our country. Believe it or not, you will find more raised pickup trucks per capita in Central California than anywhere else. That is hilarious. They're all about growing produce, farming, living a good life. Enter Ian Reith. Um, I hope I'm saying his name right. Ian Reith or Reith? Ian loves craft goods like the rest of us. He also loves cigars. Back in 2013, he decided he was going to make his own cigar, not to sell, but for himself. Those are the best, by the way. Friends and family, for himself, friends and family. He traveled to Esteli, Nicaragua, arguably the current cigar capital of the world. From this visit, a blend he calls the Cubo was born. Five years later, Ian revisits the region and creates the Sumatra version of it just for our club. Hey. You can find the cigar if you live in, in central regions of the country. In fact, it scored a 91 on half wheel last year. No easy task for a relatively new brand. Due to FDA laws, brands like Dapper may not be around much longer. We've got to really rally behind them and brands like them and hope things take a turn for the better. This batch of beautiful Rothschild size Sumatras have been aging in Nicaragua for just about two years. I love the Rothschild Victola. Me too. It's not quite a Robusto, but thicker than a Corona. The draws on these cigars are firm intentionally. One thing 
a firm draw creates is nuances of flavor. The cigar does not overheat if smoked properly, which leaves room for many flavors to be found. The blend on this is really cool because they not only give us the leaves where they, they not only give us the leaves, but where the leaves come from. I like that. So the wrapper is in Ecuadorian Sumatra Rosado. Yum. From Oliva Tobacco Company. The binder is Nicaraguan Jalapa Cofradia from Oliva. The fillers are Nicaraguan Esteli Guadalupe from Oliva and Nicaraguan Jalapa Cofradia from Oliva. Okay, so two different blends, but I mean two different uh, regions. I'm trying to read that all together. Um, undisclosed, undisclosed, also from Oliva and U.S. Connecticut Broadleaf Lancaster Leaf Tobacco. Okay, so a lot of information, which is cool. I usually don't see too much of that specifically given out, so that's a nice feature. Tasting notes. On the body, I get toffee and cocoa. The foot smells like candied pecan and toffee, but also slightly sour. The cold draw is salt, black pepper, and slight cheese notes. Once lit, I get a rare combination of graham cracker and espresso. I love that. Sweet and savory. There are minimal salt notes, floral notes, toasted sesame seeds, roasted almonds, and grains, and a floral white pepper retrohale. Yum. The second third changes completely for me. Apricot preserves, white toast, white pepper, candied orange, and buttery popcorn. Again, there is something to be said about a firmer draw. It really allows for more nuances. And boy, am I getting nuances. The final third is creamy like cashew butter and more floral retrohale. The smoke is toasty and syrupy and the pepper is gone, but replaced by hay on this smooth, beautiful finish. Dapper is a fitting name if this is how their cigars smoke. This is a gorgeous band. I love that. Sumatra Robusto. Something tells me this is going to go excellent with coffee. Let's see. Pairing notes. I swear I didn't read this ahead of time. Pairing notes. Medium roast coffee. <laughs> Light desserts like butterscotch mousse and whipped cream, lowland scotch, white chocolate, wheat beer, dried fruits, or a white toast with orange and apric or apricot preserves. Please go to Instagram, take a picture, and thank at Dapper Cigars for blessing us with this little beauty. Hashtag we are Pravada. I love it. Yay. Okay, so CLE. Uh, CLE. Also, um, you know, again, giving spotlight to the farm that we were just talking about. CLE, Christianidoa. This is one of his brands. CLE 2013 plus aged seven years. Nice. First thing you need to know is the Iroa family was the first family to grow Cuban seed Corojo tobacco outside of Cuba. And from what I understand, the first tobacco farm that grew tobacco for cigars outside of Cuba. This goes back to around 1920. We will interview Christian Iroa soon and get the breakdown. The Iroa family owned Camacho cigars before selling to Davidoff in 2008. From what I'm told, there was a non-compete agreement of five years that needed to be fulfilled until re-entering the cigar industry. That brings us to 2013. The Iroa family opened a new factory called Aladino. You most likely have heard of that brand named after the factory. This is one of two first blends that re-entered the market, they, that they re-entered the market with. It sold for about a year before legal issues found it sitting in Honduras unable to be sold. This, this cigar you hold in your hand has been waiting to meet you. It's been in a box lined with cedar and in an aging room in Honduras for seven years. Nice. And here it is, right here in your hands. The thing to know about Honduran Corojo tobacco is it is the original Habano wrapper. Cuba during the 60s saw a blue mold plague that wiped out crops and caused them to genetically modify or hybrid their tobacco seeds. But this is, the, this is from the original seed. Isn't that amazing? It sure is. Damn, I love cigars and I'm finding you stuff like this even more. That's so cool. Again, this is like another reason to join Pravada Cigar Club. That's amazing. So the blend is 100% Honduran Corojo tobacco. Tasting notes. On the body, I get a buttery or umami notes along with cedar, orange blossom, honey, and a smell that reminds me of an empty humidor. The foot is more of that aged cedar humidor, some cinnamon and dried apricot. The cold draw is apricot and salt. The first thing is rich tobacco, cedar, dried pear, and black pepper on the finish. There is a ton of aged woods, salt, pepper, earthiness. Think of musty or mushroomy. 
some rain notes as well. I love that he added that. I, that's one of those things that um, I always feel like that's a really nice description of earthy if it's done correctly. Those rain notes, like when the rain first hits the ground and there's a certain aroma that comes from that. And um, I thought I was like the only kind of like weirdo that picked that up. <laughs> I'm glad to see that um, Brian uses that as, an, as a description. That's amazing. Kind of reminds me of a Dominican Davidoff. In the third, I get a musty vanilla, a menthol-like sensation, white pepper, light cinnamon, and major florals. The retro is spicy and floral, and the cedar is becoming more pung um, pungent. Pungent? Pungent? I can't talk today. Once in a blue, I get a clove note. In the final third, the retro becomes stronger on the sinuses. I get warm apple pie and cinnamon notes. White pepper and menthol, there is a peated scotch-like smoky flavor along with a warm vanilla and spice wood. In the final third, I'm hit with a marine or fresh sea air of thing kind of thing I cannot explain very well. Very interesting cigar. It sounds extremely interesting and extremely flavorful. I'm excited. Um, pairing notes, tea, black tea, bourbon, Belgium chapelle, Thai food, peanut butter desserts, Reese's peanut butter cups, roasted nuts, Highland Scotch, Cognac, birthday cake, <laughs> light roast coffee, chai tea, after most Asian cuisine with sake. Yeah. Please tag at CLE Cigars as often as possible. CLE is opening their vaults to us, so expect more amazingness from them. Hashtag we are Pravada. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Southern Draw Havano Pravada Cigar Club, 2020 exclusive aged one cigar. So at first glance, I just noticed this, that it has a Pravada Cigar Club band on this beautiful Southern Draw. This is a very familiar uh, band. And okay, I just saw that. Very nice. Uh, let's get into this one. So Robert and Sharon Holt, diligently working with AJ Fernandez to produce this cigar you are now holding about 12 months ago to date. This cigar was finished because Robert is such a perfectionist. He wanted the cigar to rest. I walked into El Titon de Bronce one day and who greets me at the door? Robert Holt, a veteran of the armed forces, a proud American and one of the nicest people you will ever meet. Absolutely agreed. Um, Robert has a big presence. You can tell he has seen a lot in his time and that he is most likely the best version of himself he has ever been. He got into cigars working for Verizon in South and Central America where he installed cell towers. He would hang with locals which eventually got him into local rituals of smoking a cigar after dinner. From there he was hooked. From what I understand, he had a lot of money in the market during the 2008 crash. This was not a fun time for anyone. When posed with the question of what the next chapter of his life would be, he chose cigars. I think I can speak for most of us in saying Southern Draw is possibly the best addition to, to boutique cigars we have seen in the past few years. That's what makes this so special. I asked them to make this for us about 15 months ago. I thought it was a long shot because they do not typically do this sort of thing, but they love Pravada members so much for all the social media love you give them that they happily agreed. So here we are, our own Southern Draw exclusive. This is so exciting, guys. Like, oh my gosh. Not too shabby. There are actually two different releases. We have about 4,000 of each. We are giving some members the Connecticut Shade and some members the Habano. Thankfully, we have enough left over to put in the shop on our website. So if you want to try the other blend, it won't be a problem. The Churchill is a favorite size of most cigar connoisseurs, so we thought, why not? The blends are undisclosed except for the wrappers, of course. Nice. So tasting notes. On the body, I smell barnyard, ghee, and honey. On the foot, floral tones and buttered toast. The cold draw has natural tobacco and hints of dried apricots. Instead of cutting the cigar, I use the back of a matchstick to poke a hole in the cap. As soon as I light this, bam, big pepper blast. There's also cinnamon vanilla and French toast on the retro hell. Who wouldn't love that? Yes. There's major black pepper on the palate and charcoal and white pepper on the retro hail that gives a balanced creamy smoke. I'm also tasting something sweet and sour, similar to Thai food. I think Brian eats a lot of Thai food. I'm getting a lot of Thai notes in his descriptions. <laughs> Um, some floral tones, citrus that's almost sour, and tea. I'm getting heavy woods, 
cinnamon, black pepper, leather, and vanilla. The, the second third starts with something vegetal like wet grass, wet oak wood, and vanilla. The smoke tastes sweet and spicy, but is creamy. There's a wooden licorice stick and baker spices that remind me of pumpkin pie. Nice. This thing takes off in the final third. There's a deeper, deeper green herb like thyme and orange marmalade. The smoke is tangy, woody, sweet, and spicy. There's sweet bread pie crust like notes and chocolatey notes like chocolate mousse and hot cocoa. I'm also tasting cream, Italian herbs, vanilla, and more floral. Later, I start tasting powdered sugar, orange, or lime citrus, white pepper, cedar wood, orange black tea, and more, and morph into a spicy pumpkin pie. Nice. And I pick up a little lime zest and wheat. Amazing. Pairing notes, cream soda, bourbon, or Jack Daniels, after barbecue, after fast food burgers and fries, <laughs> with a chilled white wine, after French toast, with maple syrup, anything, a low IBU pale ale or IB, IPA, after pumpkin or sweet potato pie, with black tea, preferably orange flavored, with dark roast or medium roast coffee, a vanilla pudding. Please shout out on Instagram to Southern Draw Cigars. Um, okay, and here we have our little footnote. You are Pravada. When at Boogie Johnson created our hashtag on Instagram a few months ago, no, I'm sorry, a few months after the club really got going, he captured what Pravada Cigar Club was about even before I did. Community, family, spreading love. I thought I was starting a great subscription box with really amazing cigars, and I did, but you all made it so much more. If I knew what it would become, I would have called it Pravada Cigar Co-op. A co-op is basically a communal society or business, meaning it's shared. Month after month, we pool our money and social influence together, which fuels me to be able to go out and find the best of the best, the rarest of the rare. This is because you are Pravada. We are 200, no, 2,500 members away from going private. Thanks to Farm Ruled, Others will still be able to get some of our products, but they will have to wait until space opens up in Pravada before entering. I've included a tap card in this, in this month's box. Give this card to someone you feel would make an awesome Pravada member, someone who will understand that, what Pravada is really about and someone who will truly appreciate smoking the best cigars in the world. Hashtag we are Pravada. I cannot do this without you, Brian. This is amazing. Um, it's rare again, I always, you know, talk about some of these different, um, you know, clubs or, or programs or whatnot that are out there, but there's really none like this. I mean, Pravada has done a great job. There are others that are floating around out there and not to knock any of them. However, Pravada really is from the heart and I don't know anyone who can compete with what is being offered. Um, this is amazing. It's not gimmicky. I mean, these are like straight from the heart. The write-ups themselves are worth the $25.99, if not more. Um, there's so much that goes into it. I say that every time, but I truly mean it because again, um, that's something that I do kind of on the side in making my notes before I film. And they're, they don't even come close to the write-up that Brian does every single month with every single shipment. And just so much time and effort is poured into making sure that the message is relayed and that you guys are really getting the most experience when you smoke these cigars. So what an amazing opportunity to be able to have these. Um, I'm super excited for one to smoke this one. A uh, huge fan of Southern Draw Cigars. And then again, um, being a huge fan of Pravada Cigar Club, what a beautiful combination, a beautiful um, collaboration. So again, exclusive to Pravada Cigar Club members. Make sure you don't miss out on that. If you're not a member, be sure to join, jump on their website. They do ask you a few questions so they can kind of get to know your smoking profile. But um, a lot of you that are watching are already members. So thank you so much for joining and for continuing to post love and to show love with your hashtags and your tags. Because again, social media speaks volumes, especially on times like right now that we're all stuck kind of at home and not able to do all the things that we normally do. Um, it's a great way to kind of stay involved and remain a community and lean on each other. So again, I hope you guys enjoy your current subscriptions, your farm world subscription add-ons, and I'd love to hear from you, your comments. You know, what did you think if you've, if you've added on that farm world subscription? What were your thoughts? Which ones were your favorites? And um, thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Stay safe and God bless you. Cheers.